in the present corona times it is natural that engineers are trying very hard to optimize the use of every resource to reduce cost in metallizing evaporation boards undoubtedly contribute the most in variable cost it is therefore important that maximum life is derived from evaporation boards without affecting the quality of metallizing based on my knowledge of engineering experience of nearly 20 years in vacuum line and interaction with the actual users i have compiled a list of measures which if implemented can enhance the life of evaporation boards by about 25% so that you get your money's worth out of it about me i am anshuman punj i am an engineer by qualification i am also technical blogger published author and an inventor i am founder ceo of supervac industries llp a company supplying vacuum consumables to metallizers all over the world coming back to the topic the measures that can be adopted to enhance the life of evaporation boards by nearly 25% saving a lot of money are these first and foremost is the initial heating of new evaporation boards also called break in this initial heating must always be slow the reason for that is that uh, evaporation boards always have some absorbed moisture if the board is heated quickly the moisture will turn into steam which occupies more volume and this is going to crack the boards at at uh, any place so and but if we heat the board uh, slowly then the moisture will get time to escape and the cracks won't uh, develop in the board so this is something very basic i'm very sure this is being practiced by most people and now coming to second point at the end of the cycle metallizing cycle it must be ensured that the aluminum or any other metal that you are metallizing has evaporated completely before the board heating is switched off the reason for this is otherwise the residual metal will seep into the pores of the board now differential cooling rates of the board and the metal will crack the board third point is this care must be exercised that before vacuum is broken the boards must have cooled down this is because with sudden contact with cold air boards are going to break about 5 minutes are enough to allow boards to cool down worn out copper clamps incidentally also are a very big reason for boards not performing to their full capacity as we can see over here this clamp is worn out so the contact with the board is not proper this causes and as we understand around 700 amperes passes between the clamp and the evaporation board so this kind of a small gap is enough to cause sparking this sparking will damage the clamp as well as the evaporation boards so if the clamps have worn out either have them machine or change them uh, to get the evaporation board proper life then graphite foil is a very uh, humble graphite foil is a very important factor in enhancing the life of evaporation board to save money sometimes we use wrong graphite foil but that causes a lot of damage always use 100% pure graphite like we make at supervac uh, this 100% uh, pure graphite offers no resistance to the flow of current because it is made with absolutely pure graphite it saves the costly power because if graphite foil itself will uh, interrupt the flow of current because of the binders in it then power is going to get wasted and then of course the life of the boards is enhanced if uh, the uh, power passes very correctly from this this is our graphite foil then another major factor interlinking the life of evaporation boards is with the graphite foil like we expl explained then graphite foil has one more important property that we must keep in mind that is compressibility as we can see evaporation board surface is machined and clamp even if it is new the surface will be machined but still some irregularity in the surfaces is going to cause some gap if the graphite foil has got good compressibility it will compress in between the gaps between the board and the clamp and will provide a tight uh, electrical connection so compressibility of graphite foil is very important graphite foil must be 100% pure with made, made with 100% pure graphite then aluminum wire also contributes affects the life of evaporation board in many in ways more than one we must use aluminum wire with purity of minimum 99% otherwise the impurities in the aluminum wire will cause a uh, pool on the board to have uh, different boiling temperatures different metals have different boiling temperatures this will lead to an unstable pool of the metal in the board cavity this in turn results in non uniform heating of the evaporation board leading to the thermal stress and finally breakage age of aluminum wire is another factor that affects the board of life with age the aluminum will oxidize and aluminum oxide is formed aluminum oxide thus formed causes the spitting and excessive heating of the boards either use freshly uh, fresh aluminum wire or 
the aluminium wire if old should be cleaned uh, uh, with ultrasonic cleaning that works the best then another thing about aluminium wire is the hardness of aluminium wire must be maintained in proper range if required by tempering so using a very hard wire is going to puncture the boards because the wire is going to pass just right through the board then feeding of the aluminium wire is also extremely important the aluminium wire should always be meeting the board in the width wise right in the center and length wise it should always meet from in between one third to one half of the length of uh, the evaporation board this causes a proper formation of the pool on the evaporation board and the life of the board is enhanced then of course the feed of aluminium wire must be regulated to ensure that some aluminium always is available in the molten pool otherwise boat is going to overheat and crack at the same time if the aluminium wire feed is too fast it is going to puncture the boat then power of the boat must be regulated that aluminium melts just before touching the pool like here we are showing what, uh, this uh, aluminium wire touching the boat but it should not it should uh, evaporate somewhere here only this will enhance the life of the uh, boat then boats are of two types there are two component boats made of titanium diboride and boron nitride and then to reduce the cost boron nitride can be substituted partly with aluminum nitride so those boats will have titanium diboride boron nitride and aluminum nitride but experience shows that although in three component boats the cost comes down but the life comes down much more so preferably use two component evaporation boats to get value for money then another factor is that boats come in various sizes triangular t wrap simple t form boats with uh, laser cut grooves or simple rectangular boats as we are seeing in this picture and we have conducted a detailed study on this and found that rectangular evaporation boats which are geometrically quite strong and uh, offer value for money so as far as possible go preferably for rectangular plain simple evaporation boats another factor that affects the life of evaporation boats is at what temperature they are compressed and what is their porosity at boat boats manufactured by good companies like supervac have density of the order of 98% this is the 98% of the theoretical density since they are compressed to the level of 98% of their theoretical density they have very little porosity since porosity is missing aluminum cannot seep in and spoil the board so always go for a good quality board that will give you value for money then another thing that i many times i have uh, contracted with users and they have told me ki uh, should we use a evaporation board of higher resistivity than recommended by the manufacturer i always say no this is a myth starting with a board with a resistivity higher than recommended by the machinery manufacturer does not give more life in fact it wastes the power causes overheating and premature cracking of the boards as well then another factor is my experience proved that spring loaded clamps the clamps that are, are spring loaded and have end supports for the boards work best for optimizing the life of evaporation boards this clamps are relatively very cheap item in the metalizer but of course can affect the life of board then finally the level of vacuum level of vacuum is extremely important always use good quality diffusion pump oil like made by us at supervac and use good quality rotary vacuum pump so that you get a proper vacuum a proper vacuum is certainly going to give you much better boat life and uh, save you money in the end if these points as mentioned by me are implemented my our calculations show that you can save up to $20000 per year this has been made with an assumption that a normal metalizer uses around 500 boats per month into 12 months and cost of a normal boat is around 13.7 usd and 25% saving on that so happy saving thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching thanks a lot